everyone and welcome. My name is Angie Daniel from Beyond for Chris TV. We are here celebrating La Du Soleil's 20th anniversary at Grand Prospect Hall. Stay tuned. saw the attendees of the event at Grand Prospect Hall celebrating 20th anniversary of La Du Soleil. Just as the event is beginning, everyone is checking in. As we are beginning the event, these are the guests checking in. They are going to check in so they can have a seat before dinner starts. We are here at Grand Prospect Hall celebrating Radio Soleil's 20th anniversary. Soleil's 20th anniversary at Grand Prospect Hall. We are here with the maker of this whole big event. First of all, I'd like to say thank you for having us. And I wanted to introduce you to the community. Um, can you please state your name? This is Rico Dupree. Okay. Well, for those of you who don't know, he is the founder, he is the president, the CEO, the backgrounder of this radio station. He's going to you know, take a step, but we will talk to him for the night. We are going to make sure that you understand what he's doing within the community. For the past 20th, we've had this radio station in the community doing great things. So thank you for doing that for us, and we'll continue with the night. Thank you. Well, well this, is, this is a milestone. Yes. Uh, statistics will show that uh, the high majority, the vast majority of subcarriers fail, because you have to basically create and build the audience. It's a very painful process. So it's 20 years of that, so tonight we, we celebrate tonight. Well, thank you for celebrating this. I like the way you said that it, it takes um, courage, it takes a lot of work. How did you decide to keep, you know, hang in there and continue working? Well, the, the faith in my community, mm -hmm. the desire to serve, to serve. Yeah, there were times when my back was against the wall, but uh, the love of the people and their support uh, uh, commended that we, we went for work. And that's what we did. I, I just wanted to say to you that I, I remember one of the questions that were asked on the internet is what La Du Soleil means into a younger person, younger generation's heart. So as a younger person growing up here, I want you to understand that you've changed a whole lot of people's lives. And I think part of your work is not just to create a radio station, is to help us grow as a unit, as a community. And you've done that for the Hindu community. We thank you for that. I thank you for these kind of words. Thank you very much. We're here continuing with entering our great attendees. So one of the greatest attendees for the night, um, a pioneer within the community, a uh, woman who's making such a difference. I'd like to for her to introduce herself, and we'll continue our conversation. 
Hi, um, my name is Mercedes Nurses and it's a pleasure to be here. And Radio Soleil, comme on dit, c'est pour moi, Radio Toujours Abtendé, t'as pas une bonne nouvelle, tout le monde la caille. Souvent qu'on en va, guys, c'est pour t'en dire Radio Soleil, vous connaissez tout ça va passer. Rico, being a pioneer in our community. And I wish him the best. And I hope there's a success here, as you can see. Yes. At the beginning, it's already a beautiful event, so we're going to enjoy. Okay. I just wanted to ask you, like, one of the questions that we had on the internet is, what does Gadget Soleil mean to you? Gadget Soleil means, remind me where I come from, exactly. so I can know where I'm going. So I have to know what's going on with my people back home, and as well as here, the progress, the politics, the health, name it, because they have uh, a little bit everything. We're talking about healthcare, I know there's different nurses that have programs there, we're talking about community things, election, if you have, if you're confused about what's going on, he's always there to give you the report, and I love that because he keeps me up to date. Yes, he does that. And thank, and you, thank so you for the interview. Oh, it was yeah. beautiful, <laughs> I love it. I was almost forgetting, you did such a great job. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Continue doing what you're Thank doing. You. I'm so I'm you're gonna be a following you know, the exactly. step. Following so the step. you cannot miss. <laughs> and you look beautiful. Good evening, and we are continuing here with Samuel Pierre. One of the questions that we have for the night is, what does Radio Soleil mean to you? Should I tell you a few words what it means? Radio Soleil means the world to me. Um, this is a radio station that's been around um, before. Patients were even uh, invited to participate in, in decision making in New York City. Uh, this has been the source for, for news, for emergency management, for planning, for weather, for anything here in America, in New York City, and in Haiti. So, for uh, I just led to be here, you know, for two generations. I think that that means the world. And the fact that even the younger crowd now is getting involved in, in working with the radio station and, and finding out how they can help and impact their Haitian community. Um, I think Roger Soleil should definitely get credit for doing all that. Would you say that Roger Soleil has made such a big impact in getting you within the community, building the community to what it is today? Absolutely. I feel that um, when there's a new message that we can, um, that we want to convey and that we want to pass it on to our community, we can actually use Radio Soleil to be that source because we know that there's so many people listening. And we can measure our success by how many people are calling into the radio station, asking questions, and following up and wanting to hear more information. So yes, I absolutely believe that Radio Soleil has been a catalyst in helping me reach where I am today. Thank you, Mr. Pierre. Thank you for stopping by. Have, I hope you have a great night. Thank you for having me. Uh, we are here with Ms. Rose Pialy. Um, welcome. Thank you. Good evening. I, everyone's asking this one question on behalf of Radio Soleil. Is, as a Haitian person living in America, what does Radio Soleil mean to you? Well, I mean, Radio Soleil has been the voice of Haiti and Haitians for those of us living here stateside, right? To me, Radio Soleil is the connective tissue that connects those of us that are here to, to Haiti. And Rico has been that voice. And uh, I have the great pleasure of serving on the board of the Patient Roundtable and Radio Soleil and HRT have had an incredible partnership. And Rico has helped us through the good and the bad times in terms of the Haitian community. And I think most importantly, Radio Soleil has given a three-dimensional image of who Haiti is and who Haitians are as a, as a community. And so I think that's something that's very important to me, it's one of the great gems that we have here in the city of New York. So I'm really honored to be here tonight and to also be one of the honorary organizations. I that question. It's like, how, how do you feel to be an honorary, um, being honored tonight after 20, 20 years of service to the community? to be an honorary? Well, you know, the Haitian Roundtable is a relatively new organization. So to really be connected to an organization like Radio Soleil and to, to be to be part of this celebration in some small part, to me, is incredible. And, and I think it speaks to Vico's generosity and his ability to reach forward and back because, you know, this celebration is about then and now. So I think the honorees that we have today uh, reflect that. And, and I'm really thrilled that he's also honoring Judge uh, Raymond Lorgay, who is the first Haitian American to serve on the federal bench appointed by President Obama. So once again, Rico gets it right 
in terms of making sure that not only does he each and every day put the flag, uh, the Haitian flag up and fly it high, but he lets us know and, uh, you know, claims our heritage for us in a way that I think is something to be cherished. Well, thank you so much for thank your you. kind words. Thank you so much. And have fun today. Thank you. Thank you. And congratulations. And we are continuing live at Radio Soleil's 20th anniversary at Grand Prospect Hall with Mr. Felix Augustin. Welcome, sir. Uh, yes, thank you very much. Uh, and uh, let me say at the outset that this is a great day indeed for the Haitian community in the diaspora. It is good for Haiti, for the Haitians, but most of all for Radio Soleil. Yes. Radio Soleil and Rico Dupuis has been and remain the icons in our community. So we want to keep them that way. We want to help them to, pro to make progress. The staff of Radio Soleil, they have always been good to me. So I want to acknowledge that they have been good, they are very good people, and I hope they go not only for 20 years, but for 24 years to come. Okay? I have a quick question for you. As a pioneer within the community yourself, mm -hmm. understanding the type of work that's being done, especially for tonight, how does it make you feel to know that with, within a group, small group, that you're making such a difference? Oh, first of all, it, it, it's not me. I must tell you, it's the community. Yeah. When we see people like Miss Bishop yes. coming up, <laughs> believe me, I feel good. When I see all of the young people, all of the young leaders, Haitian American, American citizen, and what needs, believe me, I feel very good. And I know I'm going in peace when the time comes. Okay? So you don't have to worry. We are going to make progress. Yes, and are. when we have people like you, when we have all of the young people, believe me, we are going to make it. No question about it. Okay? All right. Thank you okay. for stopping thank by you. us. Thank you, and th much. thank you for giving thank us a few absolutely. words. Thank I have a great time thank tonight. You. Thank you. We are absolutely. continuing thank here you. live at Grand Prospect Hall, celebrating La Jusulet's 20th anniversary. We are going to continue having conversations. Lord, we ask that as the state continues, God, as it begins, that your hands upon the night, and as we are here with this such a wonderful event, that we can remember our country evil, that we can remember the struggles that it's gone through, but we can also understand the success that you desire from it. We thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten about us. We thank you, Lord, that you have not forgotten about Haiti. I ask that as we eat, that you bless the food, allow it to be edifying to our bodies. Bless our conversation and everyone who's being honored tonight. Let it be edifying in your sight. As we know in the name of the Master's name of Jesus Christ. Amen. We are here live inside of Grand Rockland Hall, located in Brooklyn, New York, celebrating Magistrate's 20th anniversary. This radio station has been into the Haitian community for the past 20 years, bringing them everything from news to healthcare education to politics, music, letting them know what's going on both inside of Haiti and in New York City with the Haitian community. We have to say first and foremost, thank you to Rico Dupree for taking such a large and grand atmosphere to making sure that the Haitian community understands what it is to have a such radio station that's making such a big difference within our homes. We are here celebrating that moment and we want to say thank you for doing this for the community. We will continue live while we are here talking to people who are attending attendance, um, politicians, doctors, musicians that are within the Haitian community. We will continue the night. We have here with us tonight a number of great officials. Some of them have to leave early. So we are calling on the Manhattan Deputy Board President, Osman Jerry, to come to the podium and introduce them. Mr. Spiel. Good evening, everyone. I'm delighted to, to be here this evening, and uh, I bring greetings from Manhattan Borough President Scott Stringer. And I just want to say congratulations to Rico on 20 incredible years with Radio Soleil. Please give Rico a round of applause. Uh, we are very lucky this evening to have several elected officials here with us. 
and I have the great honor of introducing someone who uh, I actually get to see on a regular basis. We actually uh, are uh, located out of one Center Street in the same building. Uh, I often say I think he's got clones because he's actually everywhere and I'm sure most of you see him out everywhere. Uh, he is a tremendous supporter of the Haitian community. When the earthquake happened, uh, he was one of the first elected officials to sign on to New Yorkers for Haiti that raised $250,000 for earthquake relief. If you don't know who I'm talking about, I'm talking about our great New York City Comptroller, John Lynn. Please give a round of applause. Thank you, Rose. Good evening, everybody. It is a, a real pleasure to join this very distinguished group of New Yorkers and visitors to our great city on this tremendous occasion. Radio Soleil has, for 20 years, broadcast in a community that continues to grow bigger and better and more influential and more impactful in this city, a city that draws people from all over the world. We're a city of immigrants, as well as of Americans who have been here for generations. And uh, I am proud to be an immigrant myself, though I, in full disclosure, I am not an immigrant from Haiti. Uh, <laughs> but I'm an immigrant from a, 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 another tropical island, the island of Taiwan. They still say I was made in Taiwan, at the label back here. But in any event, uh, this is a, a radio station that I've known for many years, uh, but in particular, in the devastation that, uh, that occurred a little more than two years ago, this radio station really stood out in so many different ways. It was a real symbol of hope as well as of assistance. And so for that, I think this is a station that we all must continue to laud and to support. And so with that, I want to invite our, our, our director, Rico Dupree. Rico Dupree for his great service. And before I present this commendation to him, I certainly do want to bring greetings on behalf of my colleague in government, New York City Council Member, Dr. Matthew Eugene. He was here, and he had to speak at a couple of other engagements, so he asked me to give you his warmest greetings and also to congratulate the honorees, especially our Honorable Judge Lohier, who is a, a, a person who has made a great milestone for himself and the community and the city of New York. Congratulations, Judge, and also congratulations to the other honorees. And so with that, it's with great pride that I present this commendation on behalf of the people of New York City to Radio Soleil, Rico Dupuy, Director. For 20 years of empowering city residents by broadcasting critical information that impacts the daily lives of its listeners, for its commentaries and analysis on the Haitian community here and abroad, for its dedication to fair reporting, community improvement, and public service, and for all of its tremendous contributions to the city of New York, signed this 18th day of August, 2012. Rico, thank you and your staff for the incredible work that you do for the community and the city of New York. And the place was full. We 
had, if I remember well, over 800 people here. We are not that lucky tonight, but only as far as numbers are concerned. Well, our guest of honor then was Jean Bertrand Aristide, who was at that time at the height of his popularity. But you know what? Looking at it from the same point of our honorings, their caliber, their achievements, and their being the best we have to offer, looking at the changing demographics, the imposing presence of the youth tonight, we are happy, very happy indeed. We are referring to our anniversary, our 20th anniversary, as a major milestone. To understand why a brief description of our operation is necessary. We are a sub -carrier. That means essentially that it was not a readily available audience for us. Our audience had to be built through a lengthy and painful process of placing receivers in people's homes. Statistics show that the vast majority of subcarrier operations nationwide fail and fail, mainly because of that specific obligation of building an audience. But there are positives associated with that too. A built audience is a captive audience. Listener's testimony suggests that on the average, and on the average home, our receivers stay on for about 14 hours a day. A state of continuous connectedness, which nourishes the well-documented love affair between Radio Solar and its listeners, which caused the New York Times in a lengthy documentary on us that took several weeks to prepare to refer to us as the heartbeat of the Haitian community. Over the years, we introduced several innovations. We believe we were the first Haitian radio operation, both in Haiti and the diaspora, to integrate the internet in, in its news production. We pioneer the idea of cybercasting with a Haiti-based radio station, Radio Haiti Internet, which was a major leap forward that would bring all the news from Haiti to our listeners here and as it happens. More about that later in the program. The mainstream media has been fascinated by our connection with our people. And Radio Soleil has become a passage of leisure for any US media seeking to do well-balanced reporting on the Haitian community. And there is absolutely no media outlet that has not visited our station or sought our input. When Soledad O'Brien, Soledad O'Brien's rescue, a major documentary on the plight of the Haitian orphans after the 2010 earthquake was ready to be aired, CNN informed us that as, as part of their promotion of the documentary, they would avail Mrs. O'Brien for an interview with Radio Solar. A 30 minute interview that was well received by my audience. When CBS News dispatched a team to Haiti for a week's coverage of events there, a similar request was made on us. Celebrities, presidents, world leaders, Mohammed Ali, Bill Clinton, DJ Patterson and Nelson Mandela, to mention just a few. 
have sought our microphone to communicate to the Haitian people. When Haitian boys and girls were being beaten up regularly in high schools throughout New York City because they were seen as French with some crazy accent, we were there. When Abner Rima was sodomized and tortured in a broken prison, an event that shook Haitian pride to its core, we echoed and amplified the collective norm. When Patrick Lois Mann was killed with a bullet in his chest after he told cops he does not use, nor does he know where to buy drugs, we heard the community's cry and accompanied him. When January 12, 2010 came, what hit us was a tsunami of a different kind. A tsunami of demands and expectations. People flocked to our small place, plastering the walls of our front office with pictures of close ones, of, uh, of close ones that were feared dead. We were pressed to do things, to do anything. The stories we heard were heartbreaking. The hospital ward, where they, were, they, where they knew 10 or 15 doctors were, were stopped, that could be saved if only we had radio solenio in New York, in New York, act fast. The blind grandmother that was in a room by herself who needed to be attended immediately. That law, oh, I remember that law. We kept logging the names of people. People looked somehow relieved to see us just logging the names of their loved ones. That is all we were doing, just logging. But you know what? They were right. We could do more than just logging. The community came in and helped. College and high school students practically took over our relief effort. Indeed, we did more than just logging.